Hello Luigi Noids, this is Luigi X Rules playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we made it out here to Orberg City and explored it a lot. And then we went to the Orberg Mines and convinced Rourke to appear at the gym, and now he is here. Oh, there's a time and place for it, but not now, for sure. Whatever, I meant to save anyway. Now, sadly, we probably won't be getting to see too many other Pokemon yet. If I went to Route 207 and caught, like, a Machop, we might be able to use it, but... Let's fight all the trainers here. Why not? You avoid the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Alright, what? why the heck would you fight a trainer in this gym? Youngster Jonathan. Why does he have a couple of kids in this gym? That's kind of weird. Alright. Let's see here, it's only one Pokemon, but what level is it? Yep, level 10. Expected as such. It's gonna water gun you still. Takes it out in one hit. It is a one effective move, meaning that both of the types of Geodude, rock and ground, are weak to water, which means it does four times the damage. Now I understand why you decided to battle with the... Oh man. Almost makes me feel a little bad. You should go whichever way you want. Take the shortcut or the long way? No, I'm taking the... Uh, the shortcut. Only those who want to win a cha... Uh, only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. Well, the last guy was easy. This is a really, really simple gym. Just a straight path. Maybe a couple of diversions. I, I think they get better later on. Okay, so you have... Dude, only level 8, which means this will definitely one-shot it. Alright, but let's see what else it has. Anything that's not double weak to... No? Why, why does everyone have something that's... Uh... Oh, yay, quick claw. Does everything have something that's rock ground type, which means it takes four times damage to water type moves, so even though... Relatively weak move like um, water gun can work. <laughs> All right, ooh, bite. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Um, let's see, what do you have? I'm not gonna use a year ever. At least I don't think I will. Yeah. And then Abra also leveled up. Still no new moves. <laughs> this is humiliating. Yeah, I just come in with this weird penguin thing and just beat you up. One day I'm going to become a tough trainer like you. Okay, looks like we're already at the orc. It's funny how you move the same speed on the stairs just to go wee, 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 wee. Alright, but there's not much else to do. Let's go ahead and save real quick and then it's time to take on Rourke. Welcome! This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughnesses of the Pokemon that battle with you. And with that, we've got You are challenged by Gym Leader Rourke. Sent out Geodude. That's another one that's just water gun's gonna obliterate. <laughs> I wonder if he's been watching our other- Ooh! Level 12, though. And then Quick Claw! Hooray! Take that. Alright, well, that's one Pokemon down already. <laughs> okay. And then Zubat. And then Cricketude. Onyx. That's a nut- Why? Why are you all using Pokemon that are just gonna get obliterated by Water Gun? Honestly, this Onyx might survive. Ooh, that's actually faster. Stealth Rock. That's gonna make it our Pokemon take damage whenever they enter the field. And it has Sturdy, so it, I wonder what ability those other Pokemon had if they didn't have Sturdy. <laughs> Potion. I, Onyx has a lot of HP, so that, yeah, that shouldn't fully heal, and since it's not from full health, I think this water gun should still take it out. 
Yeah. Alright, let's see. Will your last Pokemon prove to be a challenge, though? We've got Kranidos. This thing... I think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones. Uh... No, actually. Kranidos. Whoa. That's weird. Breaks the mold, which I believe means that um, other Pokemon's abilities will be ignored. He's a physical attacker. I'm going to use Charm. Oh, he's going to use Leer, so I guess that's a good thing I did that. So he is faster, which means that... Um... Which means that... Quick Claw can actually activate... Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna lower your attack all the way, if you don't mind. Just, okay, after this charm, I'll just go ahead and attack. Don't want another berry, after all. Okay, water gun. Oh, he finally decided to just attack, too. The problem with headbutt is that can flinch. Luckily, it did not this time. Wow, still pretty weak. No way! Not yet! Not giving up! Okay. You can say that, but that doesn't mean that will be true. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Flinch chance. He's just decided to go for it, but... Ah, dang it. Alright. I'm gonna have to heal. Okay, there we go. And with that, I think it's done. Well, I'm surprised that the Quick Claw didn't activate at all. I don't know what exactly the chances of Quick Claw activating are, but I would have expected something, at least. Hey, Z Z-Bat leveled up. Oh, hey, and he learned a mean look. I believe that means that a Pokemon cannot escape the battlefield. So that's actually a pretty interesting one. And we defeated Gym Leader Rourke. What? That can't be... I buffed up Pokemon! And... This is embarrassing. I went to the boss to a trader who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to, according to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge. You've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. Yay, our first gym badge in our cave. We got the Cole badge from Roar. Having that coal badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from Poke, Poke Edge. You should also take these two. Oh yeah, multiple TM76s. What are they? Each of them contains Stealth Rock. It's a, it's a move that inflicts damage on po on opponents that switch into battle. And th these are stick these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. Yay, I got stickers. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly. The TM will break when you use it, so be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. Okay, um... Poor Pulpit. Uh, it's almost been pulped to the ground, so let's go ahead and heal him up. Or is it a heart? Hang on. I need to know. I haven't been checking. Is Pulpit... Okay, Pulpit is a boy. Let's heal him up. Okay. Look at these like bike racks or something. So where to now? I am not 100% sure. It said head out, head out to the next adventure. So let's see here. Looks like we're supposed to go to the this portion of Orberg here. Oh hi Barry. Thud. Whoops. Rejax rules. You got the gym badge, huh? Eternity City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee Life City. Next stop, the Eternity Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Five's got time to count. You know, I do wonder though, what kind of what kinds of Pokemon are on Route 207? I might try that out real quick. I mean, I know I know there's Machop, but what else is there? 
Oh. Listen, I already caught one Geo dude. I don't need any more. Oh yeah, a Pokeball. <laughs> it's nice. Hey, those look like berry trees. Interesting. What's over here? That's suspicious. Oh. I think that's the reason why you need a bike. That's all if you do silver. You don't need a bike to get up. You don't have a bike? There's a cycle shop in Eternal City. Alright, that looks like we do indeed have to go to Eternal City, which according to the map is, um... Oh, that's Flora Roma Town. Where is Eterna? Where is Eterna Forest? Is this Eterna City? Yeah. So it looks like we could have taken Route um, 207, then Route 206, but... Alright, so it looks like we gotta go through Flora Roma Town. So let's head back that way. Although we can use, um... Rock Smash through our thing now. Which are rocks like these. So if we do that... Then, wow, it beat his health down by using Rock Smash. Yeah, just a random wild Pokemon will just suddenly pop up. Is this like a whole mini dungeon in and of itself? Hmm. Nice. So, what's this item? Ooh, TM70 Flash. That'll help in darker caves. So, what all this is there? What do you say? Do you see those slanted rocks on the ground? It feels awesome taking those fast on a bike. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to come back here when I have a bike, it seems. Hey, we got a bag of Stardust. I think the only purpose of that is um, selling. It seems like we need to come back here and have a bike. So let's just get move on, go back to Jubilee. Okay, and just like it said, we are back in Jubilee. I wonder if the clown, this stupid clown, is still blocking the television stage. Now, hey, that's the festival thing. The Chansey celebrating and the Happiny being there too. <laughs> oh, Professor Rowan. Mm, that looks kind of iffy. Oh my gosh, I almost forget. I'm still not used to pressing X to open the menu after all these Pokemon games, but what's going on over here? Ah, Luigi X rules. Impeccable timing, as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them th some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, you must you be so difficult. We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see you. In return, we'll see it to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Luigi X rules, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. And with that, we got our first battle against these weirdos. Team Galactic Grunt and Team Galactic Grunt. You had any wormhole? We haven't encountered any, encountered any of those yet. Alright, we're both using our starters. Um, does Charmer pick both of them? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, then I think I'll attack Zubat. Yeah, you attack Wormhole. It's gonna be super effective and just annihilate him. <laughs> Yay, and I get experience for her doing... Ooh, heck. It's not bad. I don't really need Growl. Hey, I just realized we have an answer for... A permanent answer to grass types now. And then this might not one shot the Zubat, but it'll do some damage. Um, that's a sword. There's not stab, so it didn't do all that much. Okay. And now Dawn's just gonna take care of the Zubat. Thank you. Alright, take that, Team Galactic Grunts. How is this madness possible? The two of us, losing the children! This won't do. 
Time to, to retreat. This mission is a failure. But yeah, I don't think just approaching someone and saying, Hey, give us your stuff. You leave. No option. But you'll retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. We shall leave. Okay, bye. So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. Oh wait, this is Rowan now. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Luigi rules. well done. You battle quite capably. Seeing you traders battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my, de in my decision to entrust you with the Pokedex. Ajax rules, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So Luigi X rules, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the Professor. I've already experienced evolution. Bit behind the game, Dawn. Huh? Who are you? Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing! This guy's looked awfully scary, but you sure showed him! Woo! That was like a breath of fresh air! Anyway, my name's Baby, and I was a My name's Baby, and I work as a system administrator in in the heart home city he's east of here. Now, thanks for putting on, on such a good show. I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give these ball capsules to you. Yay, we got ball capsules. Now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule and it'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers will also give you an edge in the Super Contest shows where I live in Hard Home City, so try to collect a bunch. Anyway, see you later! Alright, I guess we will be seeing her later. So now we have this Ball Capsules option. Um, so we can select any one of our Pokemon to create Ball Capsules for. So, looks like we can create like 12 and... We have certain stickers. These are, must be the ones that Roar gave us. Alright, I created a ball capsule for Pulpit there. It's a pretty simple one, but I like it. So, wait, what's over here? Oh, I must have already done this. Whoops, sorry. That's right, I already did this because um, I didn't want to explore Route 204 yet. Uh, let's see, I think at this point, um, I should have a couple more Pokemon that are able to attack. Let's see what this uh, youngster has. My dad gave me some Pokemon! They're gonna win for me! If you say so, bud. Alright, youngster Tyler. Magic card! <laughs> Alright, good thing I switched Shinkies in. going to go down without a fight. Oh, yeah, sure, intimidate him, just, just in case. Not that intimidating a match card is going to do too much. Well, that was a cool logo for Dark type. But, yeah, we are very much over your level, Magikarp. And we're not even going to get any experience for it. Starly, no. I'm still going to deal quite a bit to you. So I guess that was intended on coming to you first then going over to the right to go to Orberg City. City. It's kind of cool that we've already defeated our first Pokemon gym, but the Pokemon I got from my dad! Sure. Who gave you your first Pokemon? First Pokemon is the one with the most fond memories, I think. Oh yeah, did you see you, did you all notice the- oh, another cave. Ravaged pack. Wow, that seems violent. What do you say? There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in a poke edge would be able to break those boulders, though. Yep, I got it. I'm sure let's find you, too. You last. May I please trouble you for a battle? Yep, alright. And then after this battle, I'll probably step foot inside the Ravaged Path and then end off the episode. Um, a buddy. Hmm. It's not the best thing to fight with an electric type. We do have wing attack, which we haven't used yet. But in the end, I think just tackling it will do. Oh, in fact, we could actually fight it. Probably be the better option. 
Ooh, it's growing. Attack and special attack rises when you use grow. But anyway, yeah, but he's down. And Starmie leveled up because of it. Ooh, double team. Sure, what do you have? Uh, I, I don't think you really need it. Tackle. You can have quick attack and wing attack, I think is good enough. Okay. Take that last, Samantha. Oh, you're so strong. Actually, maybe this is a bit early to end off an episode. Maybe I'll go exploring in the Ravage Path a little bit. Alright. Ooh, I wonder what's over here. Um, how do you do that? There we go. Alright, video. Got a entrance. Whoa. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have one type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against the types it's weak to. That much is definitely true. So we've got quite a bit more of the route to go. But, so what else is in this cave then? Oh, you can just press A on it once you learn the rock smash to smash the rock. Okay, there we go. I think that's all we can do here for now. Oh, that's TM39 Rock Doom. That's pretty good right there. At least it's a rock type move. I wonder if any of my team can learn it. They're limited use though, so I'm a bit more hesitant to... Uh, sure, I'll fight you real quick. Let's have a battle with a oh, smelling deer, Wilma. That way. Okay, good. We're down. What is that, Taylor? Aroma Lady Taylor. See, it has two Pokemon, so this buddy might not be the strongest thing in the world. Sure, intimidate it, because why not? That's what Bite looks like, in case you didn't know. Ooh, it has Poison Point. Um, did not think about that. And now, instead of Intimidate, I have Insomnia. Well, at least I don't think Poison Point can make your poison worse. Get some experience from it. Okay, what's your next Pokemon? We do have a flying type Pokemon with a flying type move that we can use on this movie. Hello. Cherry. Another cherry. Let's just go ahead and take care of you real quick. <laughs> and it's this. Alright. Take that aroma lady Taylor. Even though I lost, I'm not angry because it smells so nice. What? Defeat? Defeat smells nice, I guess? <laughs> oh god, I just realized what that sounds like. Maybe my Pokemon will get scouted at the TV station in Jubilee City. I don't know, we weren't able to access that last time. Alright, so we got a bug catcher up here and then a do it double battle and then we don't have cut yet. So I think I might ooh, we got four Roma Town. Let's see here, what Pokemon do I want here? I think I'll um, give Shinkies a bit of a rest. So this looks like it's probably a double battle. We're the strongest in our class. We can one-shot this train and can't leave Liz. We'll see about that. Challenged by twins Liv and Liz. We sent out two patches these two. Um, they might actually be able to take me out. Those are both electric types. I really wanted to make a choice double TV. Um, let's see how much that does, and then you... I guess water gun. Oh, so you can click attack. Oh, that's 
Maybe they don't have any electric type moves yet. Give it wing attack. Oh, that lowers both of our attacks, I think. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe it's just a, like, a, I think it's a priority move. Why are you using it on me? I'm using Water Gun. That's a special move. Oh, apparently that's not very effective. Alright, I'll let myself speed this up now. Nice, lots of level ups. Yay, quick claw. But <laughs> thanks to quick attack, it didn't actually move first. <laughs> Alright, well Starmie and Shinky's leveled up, that's nice. I wonder when they're gonna evolve. So they can evolve. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, but wait. Oh, wow. We got a lot of money for that, too. And right as I say it, of course, <laughs> one of them evolves. <laughs> we got that thing now. Staravia. Army's still a good name for it, though. Alright, what's your data? They live in forests and fields. Squabbles over. Territory occ occur when rocks collide. Okay. That was it. And is it sunset? It's not sunset. It's like five. I wouldn't call that sunset. Okay, and it looks like we are in Floraroma Town. Okay. In the next episode, we will explore Floraroma Town some. There's no gym here, but... I, although, I would have guessed there would be like a grass type gym here or something, but anyway, in the next episode we'll explore the town. Until next time, goodbye.